In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away, and not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction, while defying the principles of natural selection. And find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant. He can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Hello everyone. This will be a straightforward walkthrough of this game. I will keep the commentary level on minimal. In this game, in this playthrough, every collectible will be collected and all achievements will be earned. Hmm. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. If you like the commentary or the narration of the game, then this is not an accident. The narrator is David Says, which is uh, who is an uh, award-winning uh, uh, narrator. Hmm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. First we need to fix the leg. Now what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. How oh, stuffy move along. So first we need to fix the leg of our protagonist so he can uh, run faster. Up ahead, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing, for a woolen world stretched out before him, soft, woolen, and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost, loose limbs and half its ear torn? How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? <laughs> In 
In a world of soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life. It was made for knitting. With the right pattern, Glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set Stuffy right, and found he would do so with delight. Now why would that be? By this new appearance, Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. During the game you will unlock a lot of uh, patterns and skins, so the way you can uh, customize your uh, protagonist is endless. Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Keep an eye out for Glitch. In the darkness, Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now? There are four types of collectibles in this game. Uh, one of it are the caves you need visit uh, all caves on a single map and all caves in the game to unlock uh, all achievements and you need to collect every other collectibles too. The second collectible Another type of machine mars the otherwise blueprint. colorful view with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now why would it do that? He had no clue. So the second collectible This machine spoke to Glitch blueprint. in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. And you can unlock these collectibles with, uh, during minigames. The minigames is very simple, you need to just move this... Uh, uh, things to the right position, so these points will be picked up. You need, you, you need just to collect uh, some required amount, you can miss any what you want. the warmth of why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here was there a connection with all these knitting machines near ah a new shape could have other abilities that was pretty neat this new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet useful I'm sure With these uh, new blueprints you will unlock uh, new body types and so you will unlock new abilities. You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Huh, you'll see. And here is our first new skin collectible. You need to open the flower and then scan it. By scanning you unlock your or be unlocking our first skin, which is the plum color. To your left, 
Your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken, without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. <coughs> Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? And by using your abilities, you will be able to unlock uh, solve puzzles and unlock alternative methods to uh, get. There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. This is the fourth type of collectibles and uh, these uh, unlock additional lore content. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images and words, making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound, he was falling to the ground, something was lost and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed, like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory, although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy. He would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts, that was sure enough. Don't go close to the pumpkin, because uh, that will get you to another area and you can't unlock this after that. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay, and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him, and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends, a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side and to be taken in tow. Not just uh, flowers offering new skins and colors. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch well. eternally, and to get to it behind the red mountains, they should be. 
Now, since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway. So, animals unlock uh, as awesome skins, colors. This box bars or port skin. Another shape for Stuffy was near. Yet, Glitch had to wonder who had put all this machinery here. I just love the woolen patterns used here. The skin, the fire red, it is commonly missed. This is actually a puzzle, you need to make this bird destroy that stone, but you, but you can also uh, scan the bird for another skin. This was a strong little bird that he managed to move that big stone object. Ah, oh, he remembered. Explosions like a sounding horn. Something got ripped, something got torn. 
He had died on the spot and was birthed anew, but something had gotten greatly askew. The world was wrong. Gone was the song. What song? What was wrong? Oh, it made no sense. This valley was full of life, but to glitch, something felt, well, amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. There are puzzles which require you to color your body. Here we will meet one. You need to scan this uh, skin not for only the achievement but also for story progression. Oh, it's all so soft. Lovely, I admit. As Glitch grudgingly admitted, a short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? You need to color for uh, nearly fully your character if you manage to look as uh, one of these color fully then you will hear, uh, you will see here the icon. The snake nodded approvingly of Stuffy's fancy display, seemed happy and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. You can see always on the snakes what color or skin required. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road forward and... What was that? Glitch saw a metal spider, fear tightened his wings, memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. Here we go uh, for the next uh, pattern. And now we need to scan a boar for the tawny color. And time to get another blueprint.
Well, this place does feel safe, I guess. Stuffy ogled the apples hanging from the tree, and suddenly knew that Apple Red was all he ever wanted to be. Glitch sighed, this Stuffy was very easily distracted. Should he really even bother? Okay, let's get Stuffy them apples, one way or the other. That apple tree is a More time. sheep, <laughs> although one of them looked unique. Sure, Glitch could scan the pattern. As long as the sheep were meek. That upper tree is a timed event. So we need to uh, unlock some shortcut first. And then and we also need to scan this sheep. Oh come on. Yeah. So that upper tree starts an event, it will be a, a race with a boar for the apple. Why we're heading there, we also need to scan the mother duck, which is also unlock a new skin. The holiday skin. So let's go to that apple tree. Now bo both cube moved so we can get to the lake faster. Your companion always showing what skills he ne you need to use. So the game is very suitable for kids. It is relatively easy. The hard part is to find all collectibles because money of it uh, very well hidden. And let's wait uh, for the boar. He will eat the apple. So this is why need to be fast here if you want to get this skin. There is so much life here, yet something is missing. Oh, here is one another easy to miss uh, collectible. You need to get done here for a flower. And it unlocks the giraffe skin. Oh, 
while scanning this animal unlock one additional skin and here we will find the memory another lore object I relish the warmth of this valley He remembered the song that sang for so long, singing to the life of any, there had been so many, and now all was gone. The song was broken, no words were spoken. Who had broken the song? What had been many? One river down, and one more was due. Still, Glitch felt this world was in danger, even if that was hidden from view. And even more the stranger, he felt there was something he should do. Was his pull to the moon some sort of meaningful communication? Or no more than a firefly's fascination? And here we can find four squirrels. If you go close to them, as the then... squirrels fled stuffy, a rhyme came to Glitch's mind. Birds of a feather flock together. Ha <laughs> I'll let you figure this one out. So if you come close to these squirrels, then they will hide in the bushes. The solution is you will find another skin here yes it is the squirrel skin and we need to repaint our protagonist Button here showed up, so this is no enough. enough. No, the square is not going to hide. And you needed to join to their concert. So they know they are happy. And you can scan additional object for one more button. Uh, this place does feel safe, I guess. No, don't follow the road. Here is an another way. This will lead to another cave. Was this the quickest way upwards? Glitch didn't think that would be the case. There was no way to tell where the path went. Stuffy thought something interesting would be around the bend. But honestly, doesn't he always? Mm. 
and here we can see again some nice paintings on the cave wall And here is another flower for another skin. So you need to have a uh, 20 button. How are they going to get across? That pumpkin could be their way to the other side. At least, if the pumpkin did not overturn, he couldn't help but worry. He was Stuffy's guide. And with Stuffy being, well, <laughs> stuffy, there was some concern. So make sure you collected everything until this part because you can't return to this area once you use the pumpkin. Or actually you don't need to use it, you only just get close, close to it. To his surprise, Glitch saw their sudden joyride had Stuffy smiling, liking the view and enjoying the breeze. Where Glitch saw the danger of overturning, this gentle creature was at ease. Marvelous. Stuffy looked pretty happy with their detour. Lots of new green, flowery and unexplored. Glitch sighed. Maybe he shouldn't be harboring haste going towards the moon anyway. He tried to relax and to take note of their surroundings, enjoying what in turn became a pleasant delay. After we all arrived with uh, that pumpkin, there was uh, another button. Don't forget to pick it up or scan it. What was this old rug doing here, blocking their way? No, Stuffy. It doesn't want to play. these animals blocking the path so we need to go to the other way you can also scan it for a skin and by stamping you can make these animals to move And we came to the next uh, memory lore collection, which is pretty well hidden. Right after his birth, half asleep, blackness dark and deep, carried away on wings of steel. Was it a dream or something real by something with wings? A crash, the ground, silence for ages, unwritten pages until a bird sings, then he was found. How long had he been asleep?
this little hideout seemed cozy, but also suspiciously stuffy-sized. Traces left behind by Stuffy's kind? Was there something lost that Stuffy was trying to find? Here is another but uh, we can get to the right now. Glitch could be patient when he wanted to. There was no sense in hurrying having a fit. If Stuffy was going to have all these things to do, he might as well enjoy it. For that one, what we missed on that island, uh, we need to get uh, a new blueprint and new ability which let you to jump they seem to have reached a new area filled with more of those large beasts and big trees and what was that sound in the distance as calming as a breeze Before them was revealed an impressive view, an endless sea of blue. To their left, a rocky ridge blocked Stuffy's way, but if they couldn't cross together, together they would stay. Hmm, so how are we going to get Stuffy up there? We now have 25 different skins. Now that alone offers a pretty huge customization for all character, but there are a lot more, nearly 30 on each level. Let's get down to the shore. Here will be the last cave on this map. Oh, it's all so soft. Lovely, I admit. As this was the third cave, it should have given an achievement for you for the first time you're doing it. This is definitely not the first time for me. can actually get uh, can get uh, inside here without moving this uh, huge well, I don't know what is it mammoth or or some imaginary 
animal. So you don't need to move, uh, need to move this uh, animal for this uh, skin, but uh, to get to the next blueprint you need to move it. so we can get uh, in from the other side before that uh, animal get to here it's not really very hard With this pattern, Stuffy would be able to jump up the ridge, and it would help them up the mountain once they had crossed the bridge. Oh, <laughs> rather you than me, though. That looks like an awfully big mountain to climb. Why well, the narrator said already, with this pattern you can jump, but first you need to customize uh, your that pattern that blueprint on your Stuffy character Stuffy didn't feel a thing when switching an arm or changing dies all that was actually him <laughs> resided in his eyes for as long as his eyes were kept safe and unharmed there was no reason to be alarmed so eyes are the window to the soul who would have thought As you can see, the legs of Stuffy was replaced. Uh, he cannot jump, but uh, he can't stamp anymore. Before progressing with the story, don't forget to return to this area. scan this object for one more collectible and for one more skin if you want to have a very huge selection at the end of the game lots of big mountains here aren't there for customizing stuffy horn here is a whale this need to jump out so the story can move on majestically the whale jumped out of the water at the exact time that glitch had calculated stuffy stared in awe at the creature oblivious of the fact that above them a bridge was created
soon we get to getting to the end of this level. We need to reach that cave system. An enormous black cave came into view, tunneling for miles into the mountain, taking them through. There is one flower, but uh, we can't stamp right now. We need to change our legs. So let's find the waving machine. And in the meantime, here is one skin you can still get. There is so much to explore here. Glitch didn't think all these machines belonged here, and he himself certainly did not. He couldn't stay in this wondrous valley that was clear, for it didn't contain the answers he sought. And now just one more collective left. I mean uh, Spartan collectible because there are still a total of three left on this level. Here is another blueprint. First, you need to make the boss to move away. Ah, it is cozy here. So let's get the last blueprint on this level. This will award an achievement for you if you unlocked all five on this level. And here is also the last skin on this level. This award me an achievement as I missed uh, this one so far on this account. Glitch wanted to continue, but Stuffy hesitated. All Glitch wanted to do was go see the moon. Did they really have to leave here so soon? Sure, the moon was pretty, that part was clear. But why face dark tunnels when there was pretty a plenty right here?
It was actually a good question. Stuffy disliked the dark, and the moon was Glitch's obsession. Glitch was a thing that helped, and a kind thing too. So forcing Stuffy to go was a thing he shouldn't do. His was a quest that Stuffy hadn't asked for. Stuffy might be clumsy or scared at times, but had lived by himself before. At the cave, Glitch would send Stuffy away. We need to change here again our legs, because to climb the mountain you need uh, to jump. But uh, first, just uh, don't, pro uh, don't follow the road, come to here. Yes, we still need to get one memory. Oh, we are lucky the verse is already here, also here, so we can see it from a closer range. It usually takes 15 minutes at least to make a round, so if you want to close from this dis want to see it from this distance then you need to wait a lot. Metal had a rhythm, creatures had a rhyme, until the song stuttered, released into time. Stacks had been added to overflow, zeros and zeros and 404s. What was known was lost, and peace was the cost. If only he could remember things more clearly. So this was the last memory on, in this, uh, on this level. We earn all collectibles and all possible possible achievements on this level. Please keep in mind you need to uh, unlock all collectibles in a single playthrough for additional achievements. And now let's see the end of this chapter. What a journey it had been getting here, and not just climbing this red wall. Soft hills, knitted forest, they had explored them all. Glitch had regained some of his memories, but he still felt like a stranger. This valley had been good to them, safe from danger. stared at Stuffy like a monster's moor, gaping and cavernous. Who knew what waited in there, all skulking and hazardous? Stuffy, you don't have to face your fear. Glitch will go and you'll remain here. But Stuffy wasn't up for that. He would be brave. Rocks and rivers hadn't separated them, so neither would this cave. Ah, that's right. Don't let fear stop you, ever. Never. Well, Stuffy blinked and Glitch sighed, and eventually one went in, with the other as his guide. The expedition through the cave had gone on for hours past that which Glitch had planned. Now Glitch had felt at ease in the dark as such. Stuffy, as you can guess. Well, not so much. But now finally they could go and discover the mysteries hidden in this new land. So this was the chapter one of Bowen. It is a pretty cute game. Please uh, uh, stay with me for the next chapters. 
and please don't forget to subscribe.